Hey guys, today I'll be giving you a quick overview of all the latest features and updates for the current latest version of Animo, which is version 1.1.1. Now this was updated about two weeks ago, um, around the end of August, and I just decided to make a video uh, showing you what the newest features are. The first half of the video, I'll be giving you the updates and the features, and in the second half of the video, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to use Animo. So if you already know how to use this app, then you don't have to watch the second half. I'll spare you some time there. Okay, so I'm going to go right into the updates. If you go to the setup, you can immediately see on the left hand side that there are now MIDI input output channels which are selectable from channel 1 to 16. Now before that, uh, before this update, um, Animo was always set to MIDI input output channel 1 so now you can select it all the way up to 16 I think this is one of the best features for the newest update okay aside from that um, when you go to the record uh, section now you can actually record, record double the time than the previous version so if you probably were complaining that uh, the recording time wasn't long enough well, now in this version, it's double. Also, if you see this option right here that says Map CCs, this is for MIDI CC mapping. So when I select that, you can see here that the controls for the modules are now selected in red boxes. Now, this means you could assign MIDI CC messages from the controls onto, uh, well, including the XY pad and the envelopes and modulation. You can assign these MIDI messages uh, to any hardware you have or plugins. Okay, um, if you go to the store, well, they have new expansion packs now. So you have acoustic expansion pack, metallic, MIDI, divine. Um, I haven't bought these expansion packs myself. So when I do, I'll be sure to update you and hopefully put up a video showing you all the new sounds that you can get. Actually, that's, that's about it. Aside from that, if you go to the presets, it's more organized now. They um, have preset categories, so when I go here you can see it's uh, organized into categories of bass, effects, hits, keys, leads, and so on. Alright, I'm going to go into the second half, which is a tutorial, so if you have any other questions, uh, leave me a comment or send me a message. Thanks for watching.